up guys, Robo Penguin here. Today I've got a tutorial on how to make a 5 second countdown timer. I'm not sure who the original creator is, but I've used this in multiple maps, like my adventure maps, Hunger Games, etc. It's really cool and I want to show you guys how to build it. Practically what this thing is, is you press a button and count down. 3, 2, 1, zero now, there's plenty of things you can add on to it like when the redstone current gets to zero which is this line right here it will send a redstone current and I'm sure there's much more easier way but this is the way I like to use it it will activate the piston break the redstone torch and that where the people will be pod that will break the current and the pod will come up so be like that and bam how this works is a door which is used in my also my zombie avenger map is when it gets to zero of course the redstone torch will break and the door will open so let's get started alright guys first step to making your five second countdown timer is you want to make the sort of like the layout or the frame of what the uh, countdown timer will be in. So, in case that was that white wall glowstone, and then you want to make your eight out of, out of the pistons. So, eight will look somewhat like this. All right. Now that you've got your eight, you want to go behind here and you want to make something like so actually I'm going to place the blocks level with the piston you want to place two blocks above here so the redstone current up here won't interfere with these Alright, now that you've got that done and made, it should look something like so. Next thing you want to do is place your redstone torches. You can place one right there, right there, right there, right there, right there, right there, and right there. Now you want to place your redstone. Which will go right there, and then your repeaters. I also you want a uh, redstone right there too. Alright, once you've got that done you should come around and I've got the repeaters right here. All the pistons should be out like so. And I forgot a repeater right there too. Okay, now you want to finish making your wall. So I'll be right back after I'm done with this. Alright, I've got my wall and the wall here is... 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It's a 11 by 7. Just for you. You want to make that size. Alright, next thing you want to do is get any colored block. Or it doesn't even have to be a colored block. But you want to make the pathway, the redstone pathways down to the surface. Alright, so just pretty much copy and paste and do what I do. That pathway down. Get two more.
Uh, okay. Now that you've got your pathways down, it should look something like so. And you just want to connect or lead the redstone up to up the blocks. Alright, now that you've got that done, you want to line repeaters along here, facing in the um, this direction. Alright, now you want to continue redstone out. I believe it's like 12. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Gonna do that real quick. I'll be right back after I've got this done. Alright, I'm back and I've got my redstone placed. Now you want to it doesn't pins uh, it doesn't really matter which block you want to use, but these will be your lines which I don't know really how to explain it, but yeah, just copy and paste. <laughs> kinda kinda complicated. Four so practically we'll what this does is this will be number five, four, three, two, one, and zero. And you just want to continue it all the way over here and lead it one over this redstone. So I'll be right back after I've got that done. Alright, now that we've got that done, you want to place redstone all along the top of them. So Go ahead and do that, and I'll be right back with you guys. Alright, now that I've got that done, what you want to do is place a block in front of all of them, leading down like so. Okay. Then you want to place a redstone torch right here, and a repeater. Then you want to eat a repeater right there, and you will put all of these on four tick. Place a block, place a block. Okay. Now you gotta place a redstone of torches to activate the pistons, which will spell out A5 and the numbers afterwards. So this line will be 5, so we need to spell out 5. So this, we need to activate that one. Um, this one this one right here this one right here and this one right there and that should be a five yes it is all right after you've got that done just place a redstone right there and it should shut them off now you go to this will be number four you'll place redstone torches on this one this one, this one, and uh, this one. This should be a four. Yes, it is. And you place your red zone right here. Now you need to continue the repeaters all on four tick. Oh, crap. Eh. Oh, that's gonna be. That's gonna bug me. Alright, yeah, at least it covered it up. Alright, should transfer through. Now you want to spell three. Numeral three. Alright, um, you will need that one. Um, this one. Uh, this one. Um, Activate that one. Alright. And this one and that one. It wasn't letting me move for a second. What the heck? <laughs> oh my god, it's doing it again. Okay, there you go. Alright, it's just about out of three. Place your redstone. Now you want to place your repeaters again. And I don't know where my repeater went. Alright. Place one four tick again. Alright, so should transfer through again. And this time you want to spell out two. So you're going to need a torch right there. Um, right 
here, right here, leave right there, and right there. Dang, it keeps that making me freeze. What the heck? Alright, I'm back. I don't know. I'm just getting random freezes for some reason. But, yeah, you should have a two. Alright. And you won't place your redstone right there. And you won't place your repeaters on four tick again. Crap. Alright, this time you want to spell out one. So that will be this one and I believe this one. I'm not even sure if I have to really check. Because I'm pretty sure it's right. And there goes the random freeze again. Okay. One. Okay. Alright, sorry for the random freezes again. My com computer's really acting laggy at the worst times, aren't they? Alright. And you just want to place your red right again. And you want to finish off your last repeaters. Wrong way. And let that travel through. Okay, now, sometimes pretty much what I do is I place a redstone torch on every one. And then I go back and see which one's the middle line so I can delete it. It's this one, so delete that torch. And this should spell out zero. Alright, we've got zero. And just finish that off. Now you want to to have the button or connect the button up to the machine you dig a small trench here the redstone has to be running into the torch the block that the torch is sticking on so sort of like this and then you can just run a pathway under here wherever you want it to go and we'll run it over here see where I am okay. and two more over Where's my sandstone? There we go. Alright. And now you just want to hook up your redstone. Actually, you probably want to hook up your button first. So, to hook up your button, I need to get a button. Alright. So what you want to do is of course, have the redstone path right here. Actually, yeah. something like this. Okay. And now you want to oh crap. Yeah. have redstone right here and a repeater going off this way. And then you can just cover this up and place your block on top with your button now you just want to finish off connecting the redstone so that'd be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven uh place your repeater one two all right it'll, it'll go all the way all right pick it up and let's test it out Five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right. Now for you, uh, for you guys that want to make the door or the Hunger Games part, simply just place a redstone torch right here. Place some redstone, a sticky piston, and a redstone torch. Lead some redstone off of this. And you can expand this redstone off to more pistons and junk, but yeah. So pretty much what you do is let me take a second look. Oh yeah. You run this down. Delete that. 
You run this down into this torch. Leave your redstone off to your piston. Like so. And then you'll have your pot, of course. Just making a sucky little pot to right now. Let's get some stone slabs. Alright. So, when you press the button again, you get to 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Cut that to redstone current off and pushes up the piston, letting the people go off into the Hunger Games map. Alright, now for the door, you're going to need course another piston just lead off this way oops red some current sort of like the last one this time I'm gonna sort of make a little gateway sucky little gateway <laughs> all right you want to dig two down I believe uh, Yes, two down. And you can lead a redstone current on here. Just make sure it connects to the piston. Oops. Like so. Oh my gosh. I'm just leaving blocks out of nowhere. Alright. You want to connect that. And you also want to connect this redstone current to this piston. your block again actually I want to make this redstone current go around so I can place this here try to make it as compact as possible all right let me check this one more time. Alright. You actually don't need to place this little trench here. Just run the redstone current completely to the door. And the pistons should close. So let's test this out. Alright, you press the button. 5, 4, 3, Two, one, zero, and opens the door. Ta da! Alright, guys, thanks for watching. I just want to let you guys know that I will be having much more redstone tutorials like this one. And I'm also going to be putting my all on one world. And then after I'm done with all of it, I'm going to set this world up for download on my channel. So please subscribe if you're awesome as the saying says, and see ya.